So today we're going to look at how to draw these poses in a gestural way. And I really, really enjoyed this session because I think the model's really good. He struck up some interesting natural poses and also, you know, people, models with a little bit of extra body fat, I find there's often, it's often easier to find some nice gestural curves to bring out in the drawing and make the drawing interesting. Sometimes like really, really muscly people, I find it hard to find these big flowing gestural curves. But for this guy, I found it quite easy. So I thought we could talk about some nice big flowing gestural curves in his poses. Hi, my name's Kenzo and this is Love Life Drawing. So when someone does have a little bit more body fat, sometimes you'll find a curve that comes round from the back all the way to the chest, like from the shoulder blade around the side to the chest. You can also find one down at the front of the tummy and then on the back again at the love handle. So those three curves kind of cascade into each other and that kind of asymmetry in the curves, they kind of flow into each other, that often makes for a nice gestural drawing. His legs are also creating some nice gestural flows. So a straight leg, which you're looking at from the side, the front edge often creates a really nice S curve all the way down from the top of the thigh all the way down to the foot. If the leg is bent, you know, looking at it from the side, if the leg is bent, you know, though that curve, that big overall S curve just gets split into two. A sort of big outward curve on the thigh and then a more concave curve on the shin. And there's often complementary curves on the other side of the leg. From the front in the thigh, you'll often find a sort of overall diagonal flow from the hip to the knee. And you can kind of think of the knee as the end of the thigh and then starts, you know, the lower leg. And so in the lower leg on the shin, you'll see a sort of outward curve. And that is a really nice curve to find when you're looking at the leg from the front. And what you really wanna look for is this asymmetry, right? That we talked about before. You're gonna see not sort of bulging curves like two brackets, but you'll see on, down the front of the leg, you'll see curves that cascade into each other. So when you're doing your drawings today, look for these nice gestural curves in the model. Remember that lesson from Richard Powell, which was to extend the limbs a little bit relative to the torso, maybe slightly shrink the head. That kind of adds to the general movement and flow in the figure. Rather than having legs too short for the torso or a head too big, go the other way. So the further down the figure you go, the longer things get. That seems to work a little bit better. So guys, remember you can post your drawings to the hashtag February2020 on Instagram, and you can join in the discussion with your fellow artists at community.lovelifedrawing.com. Free to make an account there. And you can find your practice session at vimeo.com slash crockycafe, or you can watch another one of our videos somewhere on the screen. I really wish you all the best of luck for your drawing session, and I'll see you guys back here tomorrow.